I always get asked the same question. Yarks, you have so much honey, why don't you buy the Tide Popper? And the answer is rather simple. If I go over to the Tide Popper... Yeah, it's that sad. I need 17 more bucket quests. That's everything that's holding me back from getting millions of views. But in this video, I'm here to grind out the Tide Popper and absolutely suffer. Yeah, like and sub for my suffering. Grab my free ant pass, because I'm going to be needing a lot of them. Yes, army ants! I need those kills. They're so precious. What have I done to deserve this blessing? Even more army ants. Thank you so much on it. Appreciate it. Is it my birthday or something? I keep getting those army ants. I feel like the luckiest person in the world. I've gone days without a single army ant, and now look at this. Please let me finish this quest. I don't want to die. Oh, that was close. More army ants! Let's go! Only like 15 more after this. Ah! Dodge the windmill, or the lawnmower, calling it windmills, I'm going crazy over this game. I should be able to finish it, please don't die! No, lawnmower, bear me. Let's go, I finished the ants. That was painful. Now on to the rest of the quest. This shouldn't take that long. 140 blueberry tokens and pollen from the blue flower field. That's what we call multitasking. This is actually going rather slowly. Alright, so the blueberry tokens are almost done. I just need a bit of that pop star action to get a bit more pollen. Let's go. Let's turn this in. Hopefully Buckle B gives me a pretty easy quest. Just give me like some goo from three fields. That's what I prefer. Why? That's okay, it's not that bad. Game is last words, by the way. After I spend 20 hours doing this one quest. Maybe if I get all my nectars from the planters, it'll go faster. Oh, load of dice! Wow, that's cool. From the tacky planter too. Never had that. Move dice as well? What the heck? Beastworm is actually blessing me today. First star mans, now all this. Now onto my favorite part, the petal planter. I've been grown. Never mind, it sucks. Let's go, one ticket! I'm rich, I can afford one micro. Oh, look at that bad boy go as soon as I get all my nectar as well. Wow. Could have done that months ago. Popstar 2, let's go! Come on, let's see that pollen fly. Star Shower 2, I'm about to get so much pollen from this. Let's go, I finished the clover part. Only two more fields to go. But I am excited to buy the Tide Popper when I finally can. All my friends have it, they bully me for not having it myself, even though I'm richer than them. Hashtag fake friends. Let's go, cactus done. Only pumpkin left to go. Another pop star and star shower. Let's go. I could probably finish this quest finally. Let's go. Two quests down. Only like 50 more to go. By 50, I mean 15. I got the numbers a bit mixed up. A beautiful work. Thank you, Bucklebee. Okay, are you kidding me? Why? Why would you give me this, bro? What the heck? Why would Anna do this to me? Let's turn this in for quest, and hopefully I get an easy one. Oh, bro, okay, this might be kind of hard. Not really, though. Alright, so this final quest, it's not too difficult. Luckily, I don't have to kill another 2 million ants or collect, like, 4,000 bomb tokens. But yeah, we got this to do. So I guess I have to get to grinding. Dude, it is finally done, and I can finally afford the Tide Popper. 
But let's just go ahead and turn in this final quest and hopefully I can purchase it. And if I'm not wrong, this should be my 250th quest. It was such a grind. Yeah, 249 quests and I have this quest ready to turn in. Let's talk to Gifted Bucklebee. Turn this in. Oh, I got a Gifted Diamond Egg. Let's go. I never knew he gives you that. Yeah, let's go ahead and buy a Tide Popper. Are you kidding me, bro? I actually don't have the smoothies, nor the extract. Hey guys, look how fast I click. Yeah, definitely real. Okay, good good enough. I'll just speed this up for 340 tickets. Dude, okay, it's been such a grind, bro. Craft item is finally available. Moment of truth. Moment of truth. Three, two, one. Thanks, see ya. Item equipped. Let's freaking go, dude. It's been months. Oh my god, it's so long. And I was told it was average. Ever since I've switched to Red Hive, I've been getting a lot of questions like, Yorix, why are you a Red Hive with Tide Popper? And I do have to agree, that's quite an interesting question, so I'm here to answer it. I'm broke. Not on honey, not on resources, I have plenty. But I am broke on one thing, and that is Riley B quest. I have 222 quests completed, and the Dark Scythe requires you to do 250. So in this video, I'm here to complete those remaining 28 quests and finally get myself the Dark Scythe. During this little process, I might just lose my sanity once more. The Storm Simulator does that too. So if you guys do end up enjoying this video, drop a like and sub. It really does help support me. And yeah, let's just get right into the grinding. The most annoying quests I find are the ones where you gotta kill like 8 scorpions or something. Or the red ability token ones. Just because it takes so long. If it's a pollen quest, I get it done easy. Yeah, small beesmas update. How are you guys doing this beesmas? I have 300 gingerbread berries already. And I am working on all these different quest lines from Bee Bear and Dapper Bear. So I guess the only thing I have to do now is wait for some scorpions to respawn. Oh, and by the end of all this, I'll be doing a mega boost to sort of celebrate getting myself the Dark Scythe. Another very tedious task I have to do is get a bunch of drives on my digital bee. So if you guys don't know what I mean, every single time you use a drive in the Robo Challenge and you have digital bee, a drive like upgrades a digital bee. And there's people with literally like 500 times drives. So they use 500 drives inside the Robo Challenge. And I have to do that. Maybe not 500, but like 200 or something. I don't know. And this just takes a lot of time because you're not purchasing any upgrades. You're spending all of your cogs on drives. Yeah, so I already have 58 cogs. Oh wait, I'm full. Okay, there we go. Digital B, and then I can get Tabby B too. Why not? So yeah. Like, when I use my red drive right here, this pops up the drive, upgraded digital bees attack. So anytime you have digital bee in any field, even if you're not in Robo Challenge, you get more attack, more capacity, more pollen. And most importantly, you get more field corruption. So now that I've saved up all my cogs and haven't purchased a single thing inside the Robo Challenge, I have 93 and then I can buy another red drive. Yo, golden cog mower, let's go. I haven't seen one of these in a long time. Yeah, so as you can see, it drops a bunch of cogs. How do I get these? They're off the edge. Okay, I'm actually so pro. Hey, petal planter, what are you gonna give me? Hey, caustic wax? Even the sweatband, I got a B-clip from a planter. What? This hydroponic planter is actually so pee. I get like 20 blue attracts every single time I claim it. Garage drive, it's W. That's it. What do I get? A blue drive. But yeah, I still gotta grind a couple Riley bee quests. Yeah, only 25 more. I'm getting so close. I'm, I'm quite excited. So yeah, I guess I'll just get into the grinding. I've been doing a bit of off-camera grinding, and I just boosted myself to 234 Riley quests. So after I turn this in, which I'm gonna do now, I'm only gonna need 15 more quests, which is insane. I'm getting so close to this. Bruh! Okay, bro, why, why does this game hate me so much? I think I can finally do it. And by finally do it, I mean I can turn into this quest. Dude, ah, uh, I need three more quests after this. I'm so excited. I've been grinding for so long. I've been grinding for like three weeks now. 
Okay, easy pollen quest, let's go. Uh, oh wait, sus noise. Don't clip that. You already know, we're about to get the dark safe. We don't waste people's time on this channel, so this is gonna be a very fast time lapse. <sighs> please, pollen. Pollen quest. Yes! Red rules, please, pollen. Bruh. Okay, this isn't too hard. This is my last quest. I literally need to complete this, and then I have the Dark Scythe. I am so hecking excited. I swore in one video and people got mad, so... I'm so hecking excited, guys. This is so freaking cool. Let's freaking go. 45 strawberries to my bees? Take 4,000 strawberries. You didn't become gifted. Take 10,000 strawberries. Bro, please become gifted. I'm begging you. You stupid idiot. Oh, I'm so, I'm so freaking angry right now, bro. I wasted 26,000 strawberries. Uh, this game, this game makes me angry. Very angry. These are the last of the fire ants I will ever have to kill before I get the dark scythe. This is such an exciting moment. Seven more fire ants. Die, you stupid idiots. Die already, man. Two more. Oh my gosh, last fire ant. Let's go, bro. Let's freaking go. This is... The last quest before I get Dark Scythe. I'm so f I'm so happy right now. You don't even know. Dude, slay. Gifted Diamond Egg. Let's go. Okay, 250 Riley quest. Open shop. Let's go. I can I can purchase this stupid thing. Finally. I will buy it in 3, 2, 1. Thanks, Sia. Let's go, man. I am officially a Red Hive. Level 20 Red Hive. A bunch of gifted bees. And the Dark Scythe. Finally. Let's go, man. And like I promise, I will be doing a boost to celebrate. I think I need to buy some star treats. One, two. You know, I'm doing this just because I still got to gift a couple of bees. I'll gift my last spicy. There we go. All my spices are gifted. And I will gift. And I will gift this precise bee. Let's go, man. Okay, boys. So I got rose times nine. So let's hope my first boost ever as red goes well. Alright boys, so during this boost I made like 13T I think for half an hour. I wanna say that's too bad. Considering this is like my first time ever boosting and ever using the dark scythe. Now I'm quite proud of myself. I got a couple moments where I was like doing 30 bill per second. I know that's like nothing compared to some other players, but num num num. Uh yeah, I had a lot of fun. Okay, so I already have the dark scythe and the blue ball poker. I mean the tide popper. But there is just one tool that I'm missing. You guess it, I'm missing the gummy balls. Which are a tiny bit expensive to say the least. So in this video, my only goal is to get my final endgame tool. And why not start with the most painful resource to get? Super smoothies. Now I only have 45 and I need 50. So you guessed it, there is one simple way to get super smoothies fast. Crafting. I didn't expect that 45, but I guess I'm just so rich, so there we go. Five. It's pretty expensive, but whatever. Now, let's not forget the glue that I need and the caustic wax. Now, caustic wax is also going to take a massive toll on my resources because I'm going to have to craft a whole 29. Oh, I got a sticker. Too bad it sucks. Hey, Tolan Bear, maybe you want to give me some glues or some caustic wax? I'm not sure if Tolan Bear actually gives wax at all. Probably not, but whatever. Just give me something good. Okay, and I got nothing good. Should I really be surprised? I mean, I got a few gumdrops and I'm going to have to waste a lot of gumdrops on crafting in this video, so King Beetle, give me some glue. I got zero, but I'm gonna be honest, this amulet is actually kind of OP, so I'm just gonna replace. And I haven't actually experimented with the sticker stacking machine. So let's go ahead and actually donate some stickers. I'm gonna just do this one for now. There we go. And I just realized, with a new trading update, being a blue backpacker evolved to the ultimate level, where I can literally be as much of a blue backpack as possible. More stickers, please. Give me more. This is not enough. Getting my free stickers. I just love scamming my fans. I'm getting a little sidetracked, but I think begging for free stickers is gonna be so much fun. Oh, I can steal the sticker up here from this board. Oh, and I didn't even realize I completed this quest now. Accident. Okay, sicker seeker man. Here is your quest. The next one is gonna be complete suffering. I have to donate a sticker, dude. Okay, you peasants can have this. Are you real? Give sicker and I'll tell you. Okay, we'll attempt to find a few hidden stickers. I guess they can be anywhere. Here is one, but it's not a hidden sticker. Okay, well, I looked everywhere. I can't find any of these hidden stickers. Best I move on to getting the gummy baller again. I don't think this is gonna be a very long video because frankly, I can just craft the resource.
resources. So you know what? I'm gonna do another very painful thing and craft all the caustic wax that I need. Now this is pretty freaking expensive, mostly on the hard wax, but it could be worse. So let's see. I need 29 caustic wax, so let's just speed this up. There we go. And you know what? We can also craft a bit of glue, which I need 500 of. And that's gonna take quite a few gumdrops. Let's whip out the auto clicker, and this makes life a little easier. Man, this is getting pretty freaking expensive. I feel like my wallet is gonna hurt after this. Okay, so 529 glue. Let's confirm and speed up for 500 tickets. Dude, that is so much. But we're gonna have to do it. There we go. It's done. And I believe I have all the resources to craft the gummy baller. And I only have 18,000 gumdrops left. Bro, why am I so poor? Oh, I'm gonna be even poorer after this. Might as well equip my gummy mask again. And it's official. I can craft the gummy baller. Oh my gosh. Let's do it in three, two, one. There we go. Yes! I have the gummy balls after playing this game for way too long. And by way too long, I mean six years. Okay, this idiot just gambled a gifted gold egg and got a shining star sticker. Wow. Scam. Actually, I'm not sure if that's good. I think I should gamble too, man. This guy inspired me. Let's just throw in a gifted diamond egg for funsies. And I got a scam. Well, I guess I got a smoking planner. Might as well test out my gummy baller on it. And my backpack is a little full. Okay, gummy baller. I think it's official to say it's only good if you're a white hive. And I'm not sure if I'm gonna become a white hive in my career of this game. I just called me playing Beast Storm a career, which let's be honest, it kind of is. At least I'm getting a few gumdrops back from these puff shrooms. On it knows how much he scammed me when I bought this gummy baller. Right, well, nothing good from the puff shrooms as expected, but at least now I can be considered the highest of society in Beast Storm. I have the highest of statuses. I own every endgame tool, and the only thing I'm missing now is a planner of plenty. And considering I have to spend five turpentine crafting the gummy baller, it doesn't help the fact that I need 25 turpentine for the planner of plenty. And I should probably equip the pedal belt so people don't say I forgot it. Come on, guys. I definitely didn't forget it at the start of the video. Hey, more stickers for the stacking. What should we do? Wait, if I add a cub buddy skin to the stack, does that mean I lose my cub buddy skin? I guess let's find out. Snow cub skin, you're going in. Oh, snow cub buddy skin will be removed from your inventory. Okay, I don't want to do that. But you know what I want to do? Diamond trim sticker for 0.5 honey per pollen. Seems kind of OP. There we go. And these sticker sack bonuses get absolutely crazy. So I am most definitely gonna have to grind this out and get the best stickers possible. All right, so I spent a good half hour looking for these stickers. I did not find a single one. I'm convinced this game is direct against me, but whatever. All I care about is stacking the sticker stack. Okay, let's add a sticker to the stack. I already donated one of these, so let's do it again. There we go. Yargs, give me a sticker. No, you give me a sticker. It's as easy as that, boys. Oh, he's giving me more. Okay, thank you, sir. Thank you for allowing me to scam you. But anyway, the gummy baller has been acquired. But yeah, over the years, a lot has been achieved. I got all three endgame tools. Getting each endgame tool was such a journey, honestly. Some of these tools took days to get, others took months. But the gummy baller, for example, it took me two years to get it. I do hope you guys enjoyed my little progression throughout the years. If you did, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. And now that I think about it, there's only two things left for me to get. One of them is the planner of plenty, and the other one is a life. But now that I think about it, you cannot have both. You either have the planner of plenty or you have a life. There is no in between. But hey, maybe I'll attempt to be the first person to get Planner of Plenty and keep my sanity. Thank you for suffering with me. Peace.